Most people only get to see the Household Cavalry Mounted Regiment like this, as they travel from their home to go on duty at horse guards. But inside their Hyde Park barracks is a whole world dedicated to military horses and ceremonial duties. I've been allowed behind the scenes as the Household Cavalry, consisting of two regiments, the Lifeguards and Blues and Royals, get ready to star in the Queen's Platinum Jubilee and Trooping the Colour. So my name is Trooper Anderson. So my job role will be the welfare of the horses, the feeding as well, I guess. Um, I will deal with injuries when they come in, off exercise. I will deal with their basic nutrition, so I'll deal with all the foods that they will eat. I'm also responsible for the yard and the maintenance of it as well. The Household Cavalry Mounted Regiment has 235 cavalry black horses and 14 greys. They come from right across Ireland and must be 16 hands 2 inches high with good strong legs. After all, they've got to carry a rider wearing 44 kilos of kit. I just enjoy that this is a very unique job, especially in any equine world. This is completely unique. You don't have this many horses in any other job around the world. This is where the hard work happens to make the uniform and horse equipment look just right. Both the downstairs kit, which is the leather and regalia worn by the horses, and the upstairs kit, which is the soldier's uniform, including breastplate, helmet and boots. There are several rooms like this, all a hive of activity, where hours and hours are expended getting everything just so. Coming here and seeing all the preparation work really does underline the amount of commitment needed to look as good as they do every time they go on parade. It can take up to 10 hours to clean and polish all of the kit needed for both horse and rider. They get through hundreds of tins of black polish every single month. Everyone here is used to being routinely exceptionally smart and performing public duties. But the Jubilee, where an eight trooper retinue will accompany Her Majesty the Queen, is something extra special. I like to think that um, it should all run like clockwork, but inevitably there'll be some nerves on the day uh, and the horses feel that too. And especially when we've got crowds, you know, cheering, waving flags, uh, that's something which you can't really account for. And so there's, a, there's an element of just having to deal with the, with the horse you're riding on the day. Hyde Park Barracks has everything from vets to farriers to look after the horses. The team of farriers make bespoke shoes for each and every hoof and it's hot, demanding work, but vital to keep the animals fit and healthy and stop them going lame. In the drizzle of the main courtyard, the next generation of household cavalry troopers are being inspected. From the front, number! And this continues over the way in Hyde Park, with manoeuvres being practised. These men and women have been trained to ride, and are now three weeks into a five-week course, learning how to ride wearing their full 44 kilo ceremonial kit. It's said to be extremely challenging, and more experienced officers and NCOs are on hand to offer advice and help. Back, out of the rain, I'm meeting one of four much larger horses. This is Harry, named by Her Majesty the Queen. One of the drum horses, a shire horse. Absolutely fantastic. Hello? <laughs> he doesn't like me. <laughs> The drum horses carry pairs of silver drums weighing either 50 or 52 kilos. Elsewhere preparations continue. Trooper Rosie Osborne explained the difficulties of public duties. Everyone has to be in the right place at the right time, so you've got to be very switched on and try and, if you've got a, a naughty horse, and you're trying to keep them in the right place. And sometimes it can be quite challenging. Even a short time here shows how excellent routine is everything, from cleaning the stables, feeding the horses, checking the kit, to going out on duty. Although the world will be watching the Jubilee, the Household Cavalry Mounted Division will take it in its stride. Tim Cooper, Forces News, Hyde Park Barracks.